as we look at this message and, and this series of messages this morning on parenting and family, I'm, I recall the story and what happened during the 19, uh, 2004 uh, Summer Olympics in, Gr in Athens, Greece. And the 2004 ladies Olympic team was favored to win the gold medal. In fact, after they did all the qualifying runs, they just thought, well, the gold medal is a lock for America. And now it's just about who really is going to win the silver and the bronze. Well, what happened during the relay race was this. If you recall what that's about, this relay race has four different runners. And they each running are, are sprint around, uh, basically around the track. And they're giving the baton off to the next leg of the relay race. Well, Marion Jones, one of the great runners of her day, was running the second leg of this relay race. And she was about to hand off the baton when Lauren Williams reaches back for the baton and she's running. And Lauren Williams begins to take off running very, very strong right out of the gate. And she's reaching back for the baton, expecting a thump in her hand for her to take that baton and run. But it never came. Marion Jones had run herself out and she could not catch up to Lauren Williams. In fact, she was trying to yell to her, but she was so out of breath, she said Lauren did not ever hear her until... Lauren suddenly realized she was about to reach the zone where she could no longer receive the baton, and then it was too late. She lost her opportunity because once they left that zone, they were disqualified from the race. Well, I'm sure that you would agree with me about two things about raising a family. Number one, there's nothing more important in this life than doing that. And secondly, nothing is more difficult. Do I have an amen on those two things? Do we at least agree there, all right? You know, it's been said parenting is hard and then you die. And you have just a moment, really, of opportunity, a moment of opportunity to pass the baton off to the next generation. And if you miss that opportunity, it's like a disqualification. You can't go back. You, you can't regain what you've just lost. In fact, we have several different types of people in this room today. We have grandparents. We have parents that are not grandparents as yet, but you pretty much raised your children. And you think, Pastor, in a series like this, all I'm going to do is start regretting the things that I didn't do. You know, was I too hard? Was I too soft? Did I do too much? Did I do not, did I do, uh, not enough for them? Uh, what was it about this? Did I, did I concentrate on sports too much? Was it not enough? Did I, did I look, treat them as individuals enough or not enough? Did I discipline them enough in rebellion or did I discipline them too much and all kinds of regrets that run through our mind and we're all filled with those type of regrets in fact I could probably write a whole book certainly I could write a sermon on the things I would have done better if I had to do over again or even done differently so all of us are in that boat but dear friends keep in mind this that we are all human none of us are perfect and I think James Dobson, the great child psychologist and author, said it best when he said, parents have the greatest single influence over their children of anybody else in the world, but that's all it is. It's just influence. We cannot make decisions for our adult children. We've already done what we can do. And sometimes there's just no looking back. <laughs> 